Hi, um, right today I am installing a pressure intake and behind me you see is the laundry room. And what happens here is the drying machine sucks in so much air that it creates, you know, a, a pressure for air to come through the house and we're in a totally a dead no windows, no uh, air coming in. The makeup air for this fan is like a hundred cubic feet per minute or more. This is a very, you know, powerful dryer. So it has to come from somewhere. So either it's going to pull it through that, and what winds up happening is, believe it or not, the air gets pulled in through things like the gaps around your switches and the gaps around your switches and your electrical outlets and what's behind here it's nowhere you can ever clean it's really nasty it's very dusty it's very dirty and the whole house has a suction because of the negative pressure of this wonderful drying machine so we've already done some work we've added a um, fresh air intake for the entire AC system this is a secondary one that will give the air <coughs> exactly where it's needed right away. Um, and I'll just show you, to get ready to do this, we found the spot that was, uh, there's the ceiling, you know, where we want it to go. And then you have to make sure that you're not going to run into any um, joists or beams. So you don't want like, a, this happens a lot when you're cutting a hole for an opening. Oh my gosh, there's a wood beam right in the middle of it. So you have to go upstairs, you have to do some measurement using something as a reference such as, you know, that right there and then go over a certain amount of space and just go upstairs and make sure that that space is available and does not have a wood beam right on top of it. And uh, what I did was uh, I made a template the size of the opening for our new uh, duct opening that's going to be right there. And then I put this up there um, against the, the ceiling downstairs here. And I drew it in. Then I found the dead center of it. And I punched a, a nail through the dead center of it. Then I took it back down and I punched a nail through it while it was up there. Then I took it back down again, and finally, you see, I have the nail left in there, which gives me a reference for dead center upstairs. So now I'm going to go upstairs, and we're going to put this right over where the nail will be with the hole as the dead center. So here's one more trick when you're working by yourself. Uh, before you go upstairs, I'll show you. You can uh, tape a plastic bag. This is such a small piece of drywall that just taping that up there, have this be a, a clean install with, with no dirt to your nice uh, household's laundry room. If you had a friend, and I've seen the AC guys do this, you know, they can um, have one guy standing up there with a plastic box while the other guy is upstairs cutting it with the drywall saw. But anyway, that's a little trick, just tape it up there and that way you'll have a clean install. This space right here at the top of the stairs, underneath it is the laundry room. That's the air conditioner pipe that goes down into it. And we're going to be adding the vent probably right under there. So um, let's peel it back, make the markings, and then I'll, I'll do the cutting. There's the template that we used downstairs. We're going to use it again here. Let's peel back the insulation. We're looking for that nail, and there it is, right there. Yeah, that way it's going to work better. Okay. So you can figure what happens next. Just draw along the outside of the box with a pencil, and use your handy dandy Drywall saw, cut the hole, get ready to install this. 
drywall saw is pretty straightforward. Place it up against the point where you want it to go in, just give it a tap, jab it through the drywall, and then you just start cutting. So great, the plastic bag was perfect. And uh, after I cut that piece through, it just fell down, fell into the plastic bag. And since you got a plastic bag there, you might as well just go ahead and clean up a little bit. Drop this stuff in there. I'm probably going to, I am, I'm going to come back and vacuum, especially along these edges. Then I'll place a duct tape around the edges. Or what I'll do is I'll drop in the duct box and come from the bottom and put uh, caulking all around on the inside. Because, you know, you might not realize it, but drywall dust is really an irritant. Um, this uh, home ownership thing for me and my family has been all about learning how to make our house uh, healthy so that we'd be comfortable and healthy. Um, they talk about comfort a lot in the AC industry, but what they really mean is health. So I'm um, going to go to the next step, which is clean this up a little bit, and put the box in there, then hook it up. So the box is going to get hooked up from a pipe around here to that inlet, which goes to the soft for, for my project, I purchased a fan from Amazon.com. It was only about $12, but uh, let's see if we can see it. I have it upside down because of the airflow direction. You see that? It's called Urban Farmer, and I wonder what they would normally market this as being sold for. I think maybe growing plants inside. Ah, say no more. Anyway, so this is a fan, and in, in, your, in my project, the fan adds, uh, adds extra fresh air intake of 100 CFM because, you know, we have a, 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 a separate inductor fan on our dryer line. And you see, this is the dryer line leaving the house. That is, that is, is a strong dryer, and it's going to blow up and out of here. 100 to 200 CFM just from the dryer then this extra fan here to help get the lint out because it's a long run from the middle of the house uh, You know that's an extra 75 CFM, so I'm just adding this little 100 CFM fan and they're both going to plug into this Right here they're both are plugged into this and this runs this outlet is a special outlet that runs through uh, a power voltage meter. So it's connected to this wire right here. Actually, there it is. And whenever the dryer turns on, the, it gets its power through these two lines here. Um, and <coughs> that trips this to say, okay, turn the power on here. So this fan only comes on when the dryer turns on. And in addition, after today, that fan will also turn on when the dryer turns on. Um, but, you know, if you have a situation where you have a dryer in the middle of your house and you're noticing a lot of dust in your house, you don't need to add that. If you can get some fresh air into your dryer room, you're probably already way ahead of the game. Um, so you could just do a dry air in uh, a fresh air intake that's not powered with a fan and i i think you would see that uh, your dust levels would drop a lot because that uh, that air the makeup air for this dryer got to come from somewhere and if you have uh, a purse if your household doesn't like to open your doors and windows well that somewhere is from the cracks in the walls and from the cracks in your HVAC inlets and outlets in the ceiling. So you've got air that's making up for that dryer air that's coming from very dirty places. And that in, could be why you're getting uh, dust in your house. I really wasn't going to cover all that in this video. I'm making another video about the fresh air intake for the whole AC system. And I'll cover that in, in really a lot of detail. So I'm going to finish up and I'll give you a little show and tell when it's all done. 
we're going to do uh, something fun just to see how airtight our house is. We have a pretty tight house. Um, I was watching as Lacey was going <coughs> in and out of the back door. 45 feet away, this bag was breathing. So let's just open the garage door or the door of the bedroom. and okay, We have a really tight house. A lot of air. Wow. Okay, now that's, try the garage door. That's like less than 10 feet away. Okay, garage door. Yep. Yeah. It needs to make up the air. Opening the door, close the I'm door. Gonna go, I'm going to go check out All the right. front door. Front door. Oh, front door? Okay. Wow. Oh, you oh no, you got to see this. And now for the uh, real test of how much air comes in and out of here. As a result of turning on the dryer, we're going to turn the dryer on while we have the door closed. We See that? It's trying to get the air. And sometimes we turn the fan on, the exhaust fan. That didn't seem to make too much of a difference. But, Definitely, the dryer wants that air. And I think I should show you the, the filter that we have outside. Kind of funny. That is where the air comes in from. So anyway, that item right there is a uh, originally manufactured to be a car cold air intake filter. Okay, all done. There's the new pipe. Pops on back through there. To the fan. Over to the soffit. 